Hi, this is Amy and this is Smarter Gmail and this is going to be lesson eight. And in this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to create a fancy signature in Gmail. So here are a couple that I use, one on my personal account, one on my work account. And so what I mean by a fancy signature is a way that you can have, you know, like a different font up there, make it look exactly how you want it to look. It's a little confusing because when you go into your settings for Gmail and you start trying to make your signature look fancy, you see that your options are pretty limited. But one thing you can do is insert an image. This might stop some people because when you click the insert image button, all you're given is an image URL. So you may think, well, if my image doesn't have a web address, I can't use it. Well, I'm going to show you how to make an image and give it a web address. So. I like to start in PowerPoint and here's an example one that I've made for my work signature. So this is what I like to do. I create my signature, I make it look exactly how I want it to look and then I go to file. I'm going to have to tell you what I'm clicking because you can't see it, I don't think. Maybe you can see it up there. Just trust me, I'm going to file and I'm going to go to save as and um, on my Mac, I'm going to change my options. Now you can do this on PC too, but you won't have to change the slide size. Um, on the PC, it's going to just come out a general size. I'm going to make mine, let's try um, 800 by 600 and see how that works out. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to that. And now I'm going to change it to signature. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm going to make my format here. PNG. So I know you can't see that. It went off my screen a little bit at the bottom. But change your format to either PNG or JPG. JPEG or PNG. So now I'm going to save it. It's saved to my desktop. And now I'm going to open it up in some sort of a photo editor program. This is just preview on my Mac. You can open it up in whatever photo editor program you have. I'm just going to crop it down to make it exactly the size that I want. So let me crop it and then <clears throat> I'm going to make sure I'm looking at this um, actual size I am and that really even is a little too big so I'm going to resize it down a little bit. So in this particular program it's going to be tools adjust size and I'm going to try this at 400 pixels wide and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. That looks like it'll work. So now I'm going to save my image. Okay, so now that we've got that saved, we're going to go back into our um, Google account and we're going to do something maybe surprising. We're going to go to Sites. What I want you to do here is I want you to set up a site. I want you to set it up and make it public to the world because we're going to use it to store your images. So I have one set up already and I'm going to go into my site now. It's called Amy Stuff. It's public to the world. And you can see it's not a very exciting site because this is all I use it for is just storing my images. Now I'm going to go to more in the top right and I'm going to go to manage site and I'm going to find the attachments area. Now I'm going to upload the image that I just made called signature you might recall and open. and now my signature is uploaded and I'm going to click view and now it's uploaded and it has a web address so I'll copy it I'll go over to my account and remember we're just pretending because this is really my personal one but just pretend it's my work one and I'm going to insert an image I'm going to put in my URL just copy control C control V or command C command V and um, look, see it says down here, don't use copyrighted images. Well, that's okay because this is my school district logo and I made the rest of this. So make sure you don't use like Google doesn't like it if you use their images, for example. So make sure whatever it is, you made it. And then you just click OK, which I'm not going to do this time because my image is really already in there. Then you want to go down to the bottom and click Save Changes. I'm going to cancel because I didn't really save anything. Then when you hit Compose, you're going to see your image there. Notice that I have some text also that I have typed in to my fancy signature. I really want to have this phone number outside the fancy signature so that people can click it 
as well as my online information, my blog, all that. And I'll also show you the one I'm using right now for work. It's just very small because I figure people probably, you know, like, they can definitely read all that and click it, but I want to have something graphical down there. So there it is, and um, some clickable stuff below it, but a little fancy signature. I hope that makes your day. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.